What's going on everybody? Dato Doi here with another Dragon Ball Fighters video. This time talking about all the things that have been changed slash added slash fixed in this new patch that we got. So right away when you load into the lobby you might instantly realize that Roshi's house now has party match around it. So now what that basically means is that you can search for party matches as a solo player and you can also create party matches here even though you've always had the option to start a ring party match anywhere you wanted to within the lobby. Now you just have an option to search for one, which is a nice change overall and I do appreciate the fact that it's here. You can not however form a group of three in search, which I think is something they should definitely look into adding. The next big quality of life change comes to us in the replay channel, which has always had the official channel, the top player channel, popular replay channel, and my channel, but now you have followed player channel and search channel. Obviously with followed player channel you get access to the replays from people you follow, and search channel you can search out any player you want. Again, this is really good stuff for watching high quality replays from the people you either follow or the people you've heard about online and want to search up. Good stuff. Another quality of life change is in the arcade mode in which after a battle, you can click the start button and you can now choose to return to the course select menu or return to the character select screen. Not too important, but again, just a quality of life change. Before we move on, the biggest quality of life update so far is definitely the fact that they reduced the 60 second waiting period when you accept a match to 30. If you watch any of my gameplay videos or live streams, you've heard me talk about a 60 second timeout. Basically, if you accepted a game and the other person felt like it, they could just watch you sit there for 60 seconds, and now they can only watch you sit there for 30, which is way more acceptable. Definitely my favorite part of the patch. But now we get to the real juicy stuff, which involves the gameplay of both system mechanics and two characters in particular. Let's start with the one that affects everybody. So this is listed in the official one as a bug where after Dragon Rush forced a character switch, if you used a move that will switch your position to your opponents, the hitbox will become reversed, and that has been fixed. What that translates to in human words is the fact that after you landed a snapback on somebody, you could Dragon Rush them out, take a small couple steps forward, and you could essentially cross them up with a down heavy kick. It was pretty cheap, but now that's out of the game. And now we get to talk about the character specific stuff, which are actually both kind of bug fixes, but in a way they're actually pretty sizable nerfs to the character. Let's start with Piccolo. So previously with this character, when you would use Hellzone Grenade and they would block it, the explosion would be so huge and conceal Piccolo, allowing him to force you to guess which side he would go on, and if you guessed wrong, you would be taking a full combo, and even worse, if Piccolo was the one that hit you, you would again be knocked down and forced into the same Hellzone grenade mix-up. It was super cheap and a lot of fun to watch. And here's the thing, you can still do these grenade mix-ups, and they're still pretty effective, but now they're just not as cheap, which I, I really do like. I'm glad they kept this mix-up portion of Piccolo the same, but now you can actually kind of see it if you're a god, and so you can react to it. It's a little more fair this way. And the second character affected by this was Captain Ginyu, who before was able to make it so that when he DHC'd, you could do a move for less meter than it would usually cost. With his level 1 super, it was a bug that allowed you to get like two level 3s off for the cost of just 3 bars. It was kind of insane. It's a bug so I'm glad they patched it out, but it does mean that you're seeing less Ginyus online now, which is kind of unfortunate. Other than that, there's just a couple of bug fixes, which isn't anything too big, so I'm not going to talk about all these individually. But I do want to mention that this isn't the only update we'll be seeing, as we'll also be getting one in mid to late March, which is where we'll probably see Broly and Bardock, and I am looking forward to that so much, and I hope you guys are excited about those characters as well. I do have a question for you today. In the next coming update, which is probably going to be addressing server issues as well as adding these two characters in, what server issues are you hoping they fix the most? I just want to hear your thoughts on this as I'm sure a lot of you have stuff to say about the servers and I'd be down to hear you in the comments below. But that's it for this video. Remember if you like this video and channel, remember to hit the like button and subscribe as I'll be putting out fighters content daily for a long time coming. And hopefully YouTube will monetize me sometime soon. Please YouTube, I really am starving over here. <laughs>